Let's talk about limiting head injuries by eliminating headers in youth soccer. I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of the book, That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. One of the more controversial changes in soccer in the last few years has been this essentially limitation of headers and the use of heading in soccer at the youth level. Right now in the United States, the U.S. Soccer Federation basically eliminated heading for the U10 level, under 10 and under, and they limit the amount of heading for ages 11 to 13. I expect that in the coming years, you're gonna see that limit basically increase to age 14 or so. The thought is, it's gotten a lot of, of attention because of the concussions. Can heading or eliminating heading actually lower concussions? Well, yes and no. There aren't really that many concussions, we don't think, from actually heading the ball, from basically the ball contacting your head as you try to drive it in the goal or to another player. Yes, there's some potential dangers with those impacts, but they probably don't cause full concussions. What can cause concussions with the act of heading is when you go up and you get hit in the head with an elbow from another player who's also going for a header. Or you get knocked off balance and you land and hit the ground with your head or another player's knee or something like that. Or you get knocked into a goal post. Those can cause the traumatic events that cause you know, the headaches and the dizziness and the loss of consciousness and all that. What we're really talking about though with limiting heading is the repetitive sub-concussive blows that we talk about in tackle football. The collisions between the offensive and defensive linemen at the beginning of every play that aren't strong enough to cause a concussion but accumulate over months and months and seasons and years and can lead to long-term issues like CTE chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And so that's one of the thoughts with limiting heading in these kids whose brains aren't growing. And so we're not talking about just heading the ball once, we're talking about the heading drills where players may head the ball over and over and over for 20 or 30 minutes at practice. That is probably not good for you. That actually we think might actually cause your, you have memory and attention problems and some short term brain changes. But I think in these developing brains there's concern about long-term brain damage. So I do think that limiting heading can be very beneficial there. Whether or not it has an effect on the overall total concussion rate, I do think it can decrease the risk from those repetitive sub-concussive blows that you get from the act of heading. Now, in a podcast that I have uh, on my website now uh, that I talked about this very subject, I also sort of debunked, at least in my mind, this idea that that by doing this, the Americans put ourselves at a competitive disadvantage with the rest of the world. I really think the rest of the world's gonna be doing this in the next few years, so I don't know that that's gonna be a problem. Plus, I share my thoughts on, do you really need heading that much in soccer to be a good soccer team? So definitely check that out. Now, if you have thoughts on heading in soccer, I'd love to hear them, especially at the youth level. So in the comments below this video, tell me what you think. Even if you disagree with me, I'd love to hear what you think. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. Click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page. I record several of these videos every single week. They'll get delivered directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you right here next time.